and today we'll be doing an unboxing and hands-on the Asus Zenfone 3. So continuing on, this is the Asus Zenfone 3. You can see this is the ZE55 TKL, so it has a 5.5 inch screen. Let's open it up, do a little bit of hand unboxing. Oh, there's the slim Asus Zenfone 3. Let's take a closer look at it later, just in a bit. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so there's the pin tool, and there's the user guide and the tag. So, put that over here. There's the micro USB cable. There's the headset with extra earbuds and here is the two pin USB charger. Now bear in mind that this is actually a USB type C cable. So anything else? Uh, nope, nothing else. Okay. So that's it for the unboxing. So continuing on our hands-on for the Asus Zenfone 3 ZE552 KL. This is the 5.5 inch full HD display and you have on the front here a curved 2.5D glass with very slim bezels. So slim that it really doesn't look like a 5.5 inch display anymore. So, yeah, you have in the front here, there's uh, an 8 megapixel front camera. There's capacitive keys at the bottom here. They don't light up, unfortunately. But uh, on the back here, there's some more 2.5D glass. And now I've mentioned this before, and glass will almost always result in fingerprints. And this is still a fingerprint magnet. Uh, talking about fingerprints, it does have a fingerprint sensor now. And now it has uh, everything in chrome. Even the camera hump is in chrome with a 16 megapixel rear camera, double LED flash, laser autofocus with phase detection autofocus, uh, OIS, optical image stabilization, quite a lot of stuff actually. And on the controls over here, you can see that it retains that metallic circular design for Zenfones. So there's the power button and there's the volume rocker. On the top here, it retains the 3.5 millimeter jack, that same 7.69 millimeter thinness, very thin. And on the bottom here, there's a USB type C port the speakers over here so continuing on you can double tap to turn it on and you can use the fingerprint sensor at the back to unlock it or you can double tap to put to sleep and then use the fingerprint sensor to unlock just like that it's very fast very slim but uh, one thing that I would like to note is despite the very cool sapphire black sort of reflection that it gets with the light. Um, the fingerprint sensor does gather fingerprints very quickly. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was oleophobic, but maybe that might affect the overall performance. Now the Zenfone 3 ZE552 KL is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor it has eight cores and going on you can see it's powered by four gigs of RAM which is quite a lot and uh, continuing on from there let's uh, see how much space that has Zolora okay I haven't cut that out later 
Anyways, um, as I mentioned before, it has a 5.5 inch display, uh, full HD 1080 1920 pixels, 403 DPI, 4 gigs of RAM, and uh, uh, internal storage is 64 gigs. At least this is the model that we have. And 64 gigs is a lot, despite um, it being uh, Asus Zen UI and there's only 49.07 gigs left, it's still quite a lot of storage. So, continuing on, let's see if we can check out the camera. No? Uh, the camera should be over here, that's the selfie. And see, I've changed up the the interface somewhat so there's a still pro slow motion even for selfie actually so let's uh, go back there and down to switch it around and oh okay that looks very nice with the Zenfone 3 right there anyways so um let's go here at the HD uh, the pixel master has a whole bunch of new stuff I guess uh, or at least the same same stuff, slow, slow motion, time lapse, and there's time rewind, there's just different interface, I guess, depth of field. Uh, there's a children's mode, but uh, children mode, ordinary captures a photo when kids' faces are detected. That's, uh, that sounds interesting. Okay, so we'll be trying more about that one later. Uh, let's go on to see multimedia capabilities. So... Uh, here we are in YouTube on the Zenfone 3 watching a video of the Zenfone 3. Let's up the volume. Okay. That's, that's fairly clear audio. Very nice. Repeating back what I just said. Okay. So. Stay tuned for more at TechNave.com and we'll be doing the full review for the Asus Zenfone 3 in just a bit. And thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Go to the website and stay tuned to TechNave.com.